Hi guys, it's Ben here. Welcome to the match day vlog for Liverpool versus Southampton. It's another home game. Um, we had one in midweek. We've got one again in the midweek coming up. Um, so yeah, time to make Anfield a fortress, uh, which it already is at the moment, to be fair. Um, that great win over PSG. Let's hope we can build on that today. Um, in terms of team selection, I'm not expecting too many changes. I've seen suggestions of people wanting Fabinho to come in, maybe even Shakiri. But for me, um, as I said in my preview, I think Keita might come in for Henderson. And I think Firmino will come in for Sturridge. But other than that, don't see much change in and I don't see us dropping points. That's obviously the famous last words, but I'm confident going into today. Um, we can't be complacent because this obviously on paper is the easiest game out of this little run in between international breaks, but we've got to take Southampton seriously. Um, and yeah, if we do that, then I'm sure three points are on their way. Fingers crossed. So just got to Liverpool. It's half one in the afternoon here, spitting a little bit. Um, rumours that Salah might not start, rumours that Shakiri might start, so again, interesting team news to come later today. Let's wait and see. So there is some surprising team news. Um, no Joe Gomez, he's on the bench, Matip comes in for him, Shakiri comes in to the midfield, um, no Milner. Um, but yeah, Salah does start, but yeah, a couple of changes, a couple of quite surprising ones. Gomez, I imagine, rested for midweek, likewise Milner, we obviously see that Chelsea game is one we need to win. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm okay with the team, people, people are always going to moan, no Naby Keita again, but um, you know, Van Alden deserves a spot. Henderson played well midweek. Uh, looks like we're going to be a bit more of a 4-2-3-1. I'm fine with it. Let's go win. time pretty good um, not a vintage display by any means but um, Mo Salah off the score, on the score sheet uh, breaks his three game duck um, Shakiri has been excellent um, thought his free kick was almost directly in but yeah gets an assist anyway Matip with a goal from a trend corner looks like a routine Saturday afternoon win Now I've had to get off slightly early to get my train. Um, Gold is allowed just sitting there, I think. But yeah, looks like a 3 0 win for the road to top the league. Get in. What an absolutely beautiful sight Everton Park is on days like this. When the sun's a bit dark, when the sky's a bit dull, it's slightly grey. don't know, the colours are just beautiful. Just love Everton Park. 
So it's another three points. We just seem to keep on winning. It wasn't a spectacular performance today. Um, you know, we're not absolutely buzzing coming out, but we've got to be happy. We, we can't be complaining at a clean sheet. Mo Salah silencing some critics, which, you know, a it's a surprise that they were even existing in the first place. But he scores. Shakiri was terrific. Obviously, I'm lucky not to get on the score sheet himself, but hits the bar with a free kick and sets up the first. You know, I can't complain. We just keep on winning. And it's a big game against Chelsea midweek and an even bigger one in the league on Saturday. So I've got half an hour to make my train to London. The reason I got off early, the reason I'm going back early, is because boxing tonight. Uh, I'm not going to the AJ fight. You might remember if you watched my Palace vlog uh, last season away at Palace. Um, I went from Palace away to Cardiff that evening to watch AJ Parker. It's AJ Povetkin tonight. I'm more concerned about a David Price, who I'm going to miss because uh, I've been on the train, unless I can sneak into first class and get a Wi-Fi. And Lawrence Okoli, the boy Lawrence Okoli going for the... Uh, going for the British Cruiserweight title against Matty Askin. Um, but yeah, buzzing to watch that. Um, but yeah, Liverpool 3, Southampton 0. Who's your man of the match, guys? Leave a comment. Mine would probably be... Hmm, it's not an easy one to pick on because we weren't outstanding. I'd probably go for Trent, you know. Uh, good delivery for Matip's goal. You know, Shakiri plays well but only plays 45 minutes. I'll go for Trent. Yeah, um, defensively, he was sound. But yeah, I mean, everyone was pretty much 6, 7 out of 10, and I'm absolutely fine with it. We should all be smiling about it. No concerns. Salah scored. Happy days. Just got off the train at Euston. That was hideous. Obviously, the first train back from Liverpool uh, absolutely packed. Uh, every seat taken, so I've had to sit. Uh, on the floor, in between carriages, horrible, no Wi-Fi, no signal, rubbish, missed all the boxing. Anyway, 8 o'clock, uh, back at Euston, uh, I'm going to go straight home, uh, and yeah, sum this game up. So then, on the walk home, uh, let's um, talk about the game. So, obviously not a thriller, obviously one that probably, you know, come uh, March, April, you probably forget even happened. Um, you know, 3 0 at home, all goals in the first half. Um, it was quite, quite scruffy goals as well, particularly the first one that took about two deflections. Um, second one, just a set piece. Third one, um, a tap in off after, a, after a rebound. But, you know, a clean sheet and didn't have to come out of second gear. You know, we probably took our foot off the pedal, a little bit of sidewalk, the cliches, by the way. Um, it's late at night, I don't need to go to the toilet. Um, and you know, with all with with Chelsea um, to come twice, with Napoli, with Man City on the horizon, it's nice to be able to rest a few players and still be in a position where we're winning comfortably. Um, six wins out of six. I mean, I feel like I'm not doing it enough justice. Six wins out of six is absolutely massive. Uh, as I also am worried that my camera might be a bit fuzzy. Let's deal with that. Yeah, about as good as we're going to get. Um, so yeah, six wins out of six. I mean, let's not underplay that. Let's not. You know, I'm still going on social media and I'm still seeing people going, Salah's selfish. I'm still seeing all this crap. It's um, really bizarre, but Liverpool won't care. Klopp won't care. Um, I mean, Van, when Van Dijk went down injured, um, I, I was, it, my, my life just flashed before my eyes. It reminded me of when Salah went down in Kiev. I just looked and I was like, we're not going to win. And when Van Dijk went down, I genuinely thought, we're not going to win the league. Like, that was literally as... You know, I'm, I'm a bit of a drama queen in, in any circumstance, but that was literally my instant reaction. Um, but he got up, walked off, and I saw the reports, he was fine. We got away with one. Because if there's, a, if there's one man we cannot afford to get injured, it is him. He is the most important player in our team, and I'll stand by that. Um, Joe Gomez was terrific when he replaced him. Matip scores, but I'm still not convinced by him. You know, put Van Dijk in trouble once with that dodgy pass. Um, he was letting balls bounce. He just, he's just so ungainly and... I've just never been convinced by Joel Matip. Um, obviously, Lovren is going to come back, but he's in, he's another conversation himself. So, and as much as some of you might say I got the same haircut as him, um, doesn't mean I'm his number one fan. I still like him, and I thought he played well last season. But for now, Joe Gomez is the man to partner Van Dijk, and Van Dijk's the best centre back in the Premier League, if not the world. Um, so yeah, we need him for it, and thank God that he's okay. So we go to Chelsea now. Um, at home first in the League Cup. Uh, am I bothered about it? Of course I'm bothered about it because I'm going and um, I want to win trophies and I want to beat Chelsea. But obviously uh, Saturday is 
is, is the big one. I mean, especially if they beat West Ham, we're both six out of six. What a statement it would be if we could go there and win. Um, and, you know, you really wouldn't rule it out. It's going to be interesting in so many ways. Team selection on both sides. Um, but, yeah, that's another... That's, a, that's a, for another day. For now, but let's enjoy the 3 0 against Lavanda. Let's enjoy being top. Let's see how Chelsea get on tomorrow. And then it is, it is, uh, it is the League Cup midweek. So, yeah, man of the match today, as I said before, is Trent Alexander Arnold for me. Leave a comment with your man of the match. Um, and, you know, what, what do you want to see against Chelsea on Wednesday? What kind of any players do you want to see? Who do you want to see given the chance? Um, yeah, keen to get your thoughts on a starting 11. I'll do a preview soon, obviously, as well. Um, but, yeah. Great win today, six out of six or seven out of seven if you count uh, PSG, which you should because that was huge. Um, so yeah, I mean, life is good, isn't it? Life is so good. I'm about to go and watch Anthony Joshua. Um, and yeah, let's have a great weekend. You guys have a good one. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat and Facebook. Uh, and I'll see you soon.